once upon a time in a sea clear as crystal with water blue as a cornflower, which is actually really blue and not corny at all, there lived a little mermaid who longed to be human. But you probably know this story. Traded her tail for legs, lost her voice, vanquished a sea witch, you know, mermaid stuff. Well, that's basically my story, only now I split my time between land and sea, thanks to a spell from a sea goddess. Oh, and I got my voice back. Like I said, you probably know the first chapter of my story, but you'll never guess what happens in chapter two. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Welcome to Tip the Scale Aquarium and Pet Shop. Oh, this one really is a cutie. I think so. Now, he's nocturnal, so be sure he has his little cave to hide in during the day. Of course. Thanks again, you two. Have a nice day. You too. Nettie, that's amazing. You're such a natural with those ocean fish. Eh, we all have our ways. I think you mean waves, Queen of Aquariums. <laughs> be you, be free, be everything you want to be. Take hold of the you inside yourself so everyone can see. No one can break you down, you'll never hit the ground. This I guarantee. Just be you. Good night, everybody. Got any big plans with Freckles tonight? Well, he goes back to college tomorrow, so I'm taking him out for sushi tonight. Work all day selling fish as friends, and now dinner is fish as food? How can you do that? It's all about compartmentalizing. Oh, Lily, look at that. Look at what? Um, miss? I'm sorry, but what are you staring at? The falling stars. Didn't you see them? Nope, I don't believe I did. Hi, Q. Meet me at my house. Immediately. So, Jackie, what was so important? I was in the middle of something. Did you see the lights in the sky a while ago? No. You know I don't go outside any more than I need to. That's an awfully big book you're flipping through. It's Pirate Tom's journal. Pirate Tom? Wait. As in THE Pirate Tom? You were serious? You really are one of the Redgraves? Did you think I was lying to you? Uh, well... Here it is! The prophecy! Prophecy? Jackie, you really need to explain what's going on here. From the star second to the right, four lights will fall down through the night. One will shine violet, one will turn blue, one will glow orange, and one rose in hue. Soon, after lights landing, every ripple and wave will rise up to sink the legacy of Redgrave. What does that mean? It means they're here for me.
Why is no one else here? Did we come to the wrong spot? My co-worker didn't seem to see the comments. Maybe I was the only one who did. No, I definitely saw them too. I'm pretty sure I saw something. What if it was aliens? Beaming thoughts into our heads. <sighs> don't be ridiculous, Iris. Things like that don't exist. Ooh! Do you think that's her? Keep your voice down. It looks like her. She has the right hair. You are Princess Sirenetta, aren't you? The mermaid who fulfilled her destiny on her own? Um, yes, that's me. We have come an awfully long way to find you, Sirenetta. We need your help. My help? Why do you need my help? We are lost girls. We need a place to belong. Won't you please help us? Jackie? Care to explain what's going on? I think it's time we retire that nickname of mine. The full name feels... more fitting now. Alright then, Jacobed Redgrave. What now? <laughs> I've asked me, Hearty. Yo-ho. We really need your help, Serenetta. We don't know what to do here, and we have nowhere else to go. Please, call me Nettie. Who are you? My name's Annette. I'm Blythe. Daryl. And I'm Glynis. Uh, oh, and I almost forgot. A fairy? I didn't even know those existed. Says the mermaid princess. Oh, come on, Freckles. Isn't this incredible? My girlfriends occasionally part fish and vanquilize the sea witch last year using a magic wand. I could wake up as a centaur tomorrow and would just kind of roll with it. Hello, my name's Belle. What? No, it's not. Your name is Tink. Don't call me that. He used to call me that. I'm Belle from now on. So, what happened to you? Where did you come from? We used to live in a beautiful blue lagoon in an astral paradise up in the stars. We lived there happily for years, protected by a guardian in green. But he left us for this world when he fell in love with a visiting girl. An evil pirate destroyed our lagoon. He killed our friends. We escaped. We had heard the stories about the mermaid who took her destiny into our own hands and knew you'd be able to help us. So we came here, to you, Sirenetta. This is a lot to take in, but I'll help you. Calypso, what are you doing here? Nettie, something just woke up out in the ocean. I have no idea what it is, but it can't be good. I think we need to check it out. Well, what are we going to do? We're waiting. When Pirate Tom heard the prophecy, he summoned a sea creature to lie and wait for the four lights to fall to the island. It will lead us to the lights and hopefully prevent the end of days. <laughs> the Leviathan. That's it, Nettie. That's the creature I was telling you about. Who are you? Ah! Ice? Steam? We can control water in all its forms. Can't you? So, 
the four lights are actually mermaids, huh? Shoot your cannons into the sea. I want those mermaids to know who they're really up against. Cannonballs? Oh no. Pirates. We have to hide. No, we don't. I have an idea. Hey, sailor. We're over here. All righty. Here we are, your temporary lagoon with a no monster guarantee. Hopefully. We're going to live in that? Your house. On land. We explored a lot of places in our old paradise, but never land. I'm not sure this is going to work. Do you have a pool or something like that? Ah, uh, I have a bathtub. I can take care of this. No problem. Take care of what, exactly? What did you do to my house? <laughs> do you like it? Um, well, I think the neighbors are gonna notice. Betty, where are your neighbors? We noticed. What's that in the bottle? Oh, it's a letter for my family. I'm gonna ask if they can do anything to help. Your family? Oh, that's right. You're Neptune's daughter. What? No, I'm not. Neptune hasn't ruled our ocean in, I don't even know, centuries? Oh, I'm sorry. We knew you were a princess. I guess we just don't know the king. <laughs> no, it's, it's fine. Um, I'm just gonna go send this on its way, and I'll be right back so we can go lagoon hunting. Lagoon hunting? Calypso! Hello there, princess person. Hi, Calypso. How's life in the open ocean? Well, I'm not stuck in a tiny aquarium, and there's no crazy sea witch trying to kidnap my best friend, so it's been pretty boring. Well, maybe I've got something that can spice things up again. Those four mermaids who fell out of the sky, they need our help. Would you bring this to the castle? I want to know if my dad or grandma can do anything for them. Ooh, actually sounds like a job from my sister. Oh, Thetis! So, I haven't seen you in ages. It's nice to see you again. Nettie, this is my sister Thetis, the narrate of Flotsam and Jetsam. I make sure any debris floating in the sea finds its way. Oh, great. Do you think you could bring this bottle to King Aquario? Ooh, of course. I haven't brought anything his way in a while. How exciting. Thank you for coming to see us so quickly, Sionetta. Of course, Grandma. It sounded urgent. I'd like to tell you a story. Hundreds of years ago, when my mother was just a child, four mermaids were taken from our oceans. They were spirited away by a figure clad in green and never heard from again. Does this sound at all familiar? No. Should it? These four mermaids' names were Annette, Blythe, Glynis, and Daryl. The Lost Mermaids? They didn't say anything about this to me. 
But now they've come back home, isn't that a good thing? They are not of this planet anymore. We cannot trust them. I must agree with my mother, Serenetta. We don't know anything about these mermaids, aside from how they disappeared from our planet before any of us were born. And I'm 207 years old. So you're not going to help them? Not until they've proven themselves trustworthy. They could be here to kidnap more mer people or overthrow our monarchy. That's ridiculous. I was lost once. I felt like I didn't belong. So I went out and I found somewhere, somewhere I harmonize with. Now there are four girls just like me. The least I can do is help them. Nettie, what's wrong? My family's just frustrating. I thought maybe after everything we went through, they'd finally understand me, but ugh, I just need to find an island for the lost girls. There's a small place up ahead I can show you all. Here we are. Oh, wow. This is great. Thanks, Calypso. You're welcome. See you soon. All right, Belly Bell. Time to spread our wings. One order of fairy dust coming up. You're... Uh, you're flying? How? Anyone sprinkled by Belle's fairy dust can fly. It just washes off very easily. You four can fly. You have more powers than normal merfolk, and I just find out that you're hundreds of years old? Why didn't you tell me you four were originally from my ocean? It must have slipped our minds. Everything in our old lagoon was so wonderful. We never thought we'd come back. I'm so sorry, Sirenetta. Do you still want to help us? Yes, of course. It's just we're so different. Different? Oh, Sirenetta, no! We were born in the same sea Just wanted to fly free We randomly start singing And the sea does our bidding We're not so different after all Yo-ho! Hey, pirate lady, why won't you just leave us alone? <laughs> That's Captain Pirate Lady to you. Actually, it's Captain Pirate Lady to everyone! I never thought I'd get across 
sword fight with the mermaid off my bucket list. Huh, you must be new then. Eat how pretty this is. Why are you doing this? Why won't you just let them be happy? Them? What do you mean, them? Well, I already am happy. All they want is to have a happy life like I do. And I don't want to die. You just left them frozen on an island. Freckles, this is the Caribbean. They probably thawed in like 20 minutes. All right, Snow Queen. So how's Iris? I haven't seen her in a few days. She's been running around all crazy trying to plan that Founder's Day ball. I think she's in a little over her head. Founder's Day? Hibiscus Cove's birthday celebration. I don't know much else. I didn't get much history when I moved here. Wait, Iris moved here too. Why is she helping plan the ball? Pursuing that dream of being an event planner. It's stressing her out like crazy. How's the Mermaid Princess job going? Finding any blue lagoons? <sighs> no. We've seen a few islands, but they're never good enough for the Lost Girls. I just wish there was a way for us to magically find a perfect home for them. Well, Nettie, isn't that exactly how you got here? <laughs> With a wish? Oh. Calypso! Calypso! Nettie! What happened to you? You've changed. Even your fins are different. It's not just the fins. She has all the same powers we do. Powers tied to people's belief in mermaids, strengthened by it. Well, isn't that... fickle. So, what's up? Right. Calypso, I want you to take me to your sister. You're going to need to be more specific. I have 49 sisters. Dion, the wish giver. What a surprise! Dione! It's nice to see you again, Dione. You've, You've come, come to, to ask, ask for something. something. Yes, Dione. My friends are lost, and I know that times like this call for a little wishful thinking. We need a home! We would like to wish for a new lagoon. I understand. I understand. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, I cannot, I cannot grant, grant that, that for you. What? Why not? I thought you'd grant the wish of any pure-hearted sea creature. That's, That's correct. correct. But they, they are, are not, not of the sea anymore, Nettie. They, they renounced our ocean, ocean and have yet to react with me. Until they do, I can do nothing for them. All right, that's fair. What if I make the wish then? Would that work? Your determination and kindness is admirable, Nettie. But no. Your wish made you human. You might have things right now, but we both know that you belong out of the sea. Don't be disheartened, little mermaid. You are still as pure-hearted as sea creatures come. Your being here is strong evidence of that. So, what happens now? <sighs> I have an idea. I can go to Amphitrite. Amphitrite? She's the queen of us near aids. Well, we elected her, so she's more like our president. Queen? I thought you said Dione was the most powerful Neraid. Most powerful powers wise. That's actually why she keeps herself in isolation. Amphitrite is our leader. If she mandates the creation of the lagoon, then the appropriate Neraids have to do it. Sisters! How wonderful to see you two! Calypso, it's been nearly a century! I've been busy, you know, fish and stuff. Well, we really must make more time for family. Don't feel awkward just because I'm the queen. Now, what is it you've come to ask me about? 
Mermaids from beyond the stars have fallen to Hibiscus Cove. They need a new home. We would like to ask if you'd mandate the creation of a new lagoon hidden from humanity. These are the mermaids allied with Princess Sirenetta, correct? Um, yes. How did you know? Dion has warned me of them. And I hear King Aquario and his mother, Queen Favola, don't trust them either. I understand that they're not from this sea anymore, but- Clipsa, affiliation to one ocean or another is not the issue with these mermaids. Oh my gosh, now we don't have to reschedule the party. Thank you so much, Nettie. We really need this Founders Day ball to go perfectly. Yeah, you've been working really hard on it. And I know it's a big deal to everyone from Hibiscus Cove. Since when could you control the weather? My new mermaid powers are tied to people's belief in mermaids. And since so many people on this island actually believe in mermaids, I can do almost anything. That's incredible! All right, it's almost three o'clock. I should check in on how the rest of the committee is doing and then go home and change. Isn't the party not until seven? Why would you need almost four hours to get dressed? It's a formal ball, Nettie. The appropriate level of beauty is going to take some time. Why do you ask? Oh, no reason, but uh, what exactly does formal mean around here? Studying for midterms? Jacot, what is this? Well, Mama always told me it's good to have a backup plan. It's all I could find. Ugh, I look like a sea urchin. I think you mean street urchin. Yes, thank you, honey. Much better. Don't worry about your dress, Nettie. You've got bigger fish to fry, like those four sitting at our table. What in the world are you four doing here? We got tired of being cooped up in the tank, so we thought we'd come to your little dance. Belle made us these gowns to cover up our tails, sprinkled us with some fairy dust so we could move around, and covered us in makeup so we have more human-like complexions. You're welcome! Your town is absolutely beautiful. We should just stay here. I don't see how you'd get that to work. Unless you all become human like Nettie did. Oh god, no. No, never. More than 300 years ago, the infamous pirate Tom stumbled upon this little island, and he was completely taken with the beauty of the wild hibiscus. Before his mysterious disappearance, pirate Tom transformed this little island into a secret hideaway for him and his crew. And that hideaway evolved into our beautiful home, Hibiscus Cove! introduce you all to our special guest of honor this evening. The youngest descendant of our town's founder, Pirate Tom, Miss Jacob Redgrave. Thank you so much for having me, Iris. Well, thank you for coming. We're so happy to have you on a night like this. It's not just a big deal for us, but of course, it's a big deal for you. This island really is your family's legacy.
I saw the mermaids. They're here. The green-haired one. She's human somehow. Soon after Light's landing, every ripple and wave will rise up to sink the legacy of Red Grave. I just assumed by legacy it meant lineage. Those mermaids weren't destined to destroy me. That dress really is not at all appropriate for an event like this. Belle, do you have any ideas? May I have this dance? Nettie, what is it? I just... I never thought I'd be here. I always wanted this. I always wanted to dance the night away, but... It all just seems so impossible for so long. But here you are. I never expected this either, you know? I always was kind of quiet and, I don't know, safe. The most daring thing I ever did was move here. And even that took two years of just overthinking it. You've brought so much excitement into my life, Nettie. And for once, I'm not afraid of any of it. If you'd have asked me a few years ago, I'd have said all of this was impossible. But ever since I met you, Impossible things are happening every day. See? Things like that. Did not see that coming. Neither did I. Hibiscus Cove is nice. I wish we could just stay here. Humans have developed this island, though. There's pavement and buildings everywhere. That pirate Tom destroyed it centuries ago. We could restore it to its natural beauty. You have to admit, Annette, Serenette has been dragging her fins. It's only a matter of time before she leaves us, just like her last guardian did. No, Nettie isn't like that. Besides, our last guardian left us because he fell in love. Oh, Tink, Peter abandoned us. He abandoned you. You should hate him for that. Oh, don't you understand, Annette? Peter means more to me than anything in this whole world. Falling in love is selfish. Our guardian abandoned us for it, and now your judgment is being clouded by it. We've been dependent for too long. It's time we do something for ourselves. Belle, where did the girls go? Isn't this enchanting? The pirate guardian of Hibiscus Cove came down under the waves, seeking a sea witch's help. I need to stop four mermaids from destroying my home, and I can only do that if I have powers like them. Like the green-haired mermaid my first mate saw as a human. Oh yes, the part-time mermaid princess, Sirenetta. She killed my dear sister Mostrega, you know. Did us all a favor if you ask me. I can do what you want, Captain Redgrave, but I'm interested in hearing how you intend to pay me. Oh, well, I don't have much money on me. <laughs> I have plenty back home. <laughs> You're cute. Nettie, what's happening? It's the
the mermaids, they're... They're making a tsunami. They're going to flood the island. I was just trying to help them, and now... Now they're going to destroy everything. It made me think that we were the same, that we were friends. But we're not. There has to be something we can do. Uh, maybe you can force their tsunami back when they get here. Or Dion can transform everyone on the island into mermaids. At least we wouldn't drown. How? The ocean is gone. I can't reach Dion. I can't even transform. I need to submerge my pennant in seawater to do that, and there is no seawater. Yes, you can. There's little... I don't know, tide pool puddles all over the place. I can keep you transformed with my fairy dust. an island that we love, that we can make into a perfect home. You're going to destroy it. You should have just let me try to help you. Oh, Sirenetta, you did try to help us. You just didn't try well enough. I love this island too, but just the way it is. I'm not going to let you sink it and drown the people I love. But think how much better it will be. The island will be restored to its natural beauty, the way it was before those pirates settled it. And think how much easier it will be for you! No more splitting your time between human and mermaid. You'll finally be a mermaid all the time again! What? You can finally go back to being a normal mermaid! What's my name? It's Serenetta. Yeah, but... What do my friends call me? What does everyone call me? What did I ask you to call me? Um, Sirenetta? What else would they possibly call you? Is that a flying mermaid up there? It can't be, mermaids don't exist. You're right. That's not a mermaid, it's just a, a hallucination brought on by mass hysteria. What? Yeah. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Nettie told me the mermaids she's about to fight are powered by belief in them. If we can get people to not believe in them, they'll be weaker. Come on, everyone! You know mermaids don't exist. Of course, we're just hallucinating. It would be awesome, but mermaids, mermaids don't, don't exist. exist. Hear that? They think you're just a figment of their imagination. They don't believe in you anymore. And neither do I. Oh, come on, Tank. We know you know mermaids exist. Obviously. I just don't believe in you. Your plan won't work. Serenetta is a mermaid like us now. She'll lose her powers too, and the momentum of our wave will flood the island anyways. Besides, you're all alone. We're going to win.
Da, pirate! I'm here to help stop the mermaids. Are you Shakot Redgrave? Yes, and you need to let me help you. You're a mermaid? It's a recent development. Well then, I'll have to throw a welcome party once we're done here. You might have a partner, Serenetta, but it's still two against four. Just let it happen. It's for the best. After all this time, you really don't know anything about me. My name might be Serenetta, and I might be a mermaid princess, but that is not who I am. My name is Nettie Perlman, and I may have been born a mermaid, but I transformed myself into the human woman I always knew I was meant to be. Oh, Serenetta, nobody changes like that. You might think you're human, but you'll come back to the sea one day. Just give in and make that day today. I thought you wanted my help. I thought we were friends, but you lied. We are so different after all. I wish for those evil mermaids to fail. I wish for those girls to never be a danger to anyone else. And I wish for those mermaids to never set fin in our ocean again. us we're human no how maybe it's a pirate's curse or perhaps someone's fairy godmother ah i'd bet some pure-hearted sea creature made a wish to die own no we don't deserve this oh you're right you deserve so much more than just this So, you had no idea they were going to do this? No, not at all. I would have never helped them if I did. I rushed to judgment and just assumed the worst. I apologize for my actions. And I apologize for mine. I'm an ocean princess, and you're a pirate queen. We should have been more diplomatic. This town has been going mermaid crazy for a while now. I don't know why I didn't think of capitalizing on the hot trend sooner. Everyone will come flocking from all over to get pictures with the Hibiscus Cove mermaid. I'm Scale Tina, the magical mermaid of Hibiscus Cove. Then she'll send them inside to bring home one of her many fine finned friends. Dive into reasonable prices at Tip the Scale Aquarium and Pet Shop while I dive to a new low. Ah, this is great! I can't wait for all our new customers to come flooding in. So I hear you're a mermaid now. Why, yes, I am. I thought you knew. Well, how could I? You never told me. 
Oh, my darling, I'm so sorry. I could see how that would come as a shock. <laughs> Hashtag Finstagram. Fluttering fairies, dastardly pirates, enchanting mermaids. If I didn't know any better, I'd say we're in a fairy tale. <laughs> oh, please, Freckles. I'm just a little mermaid. <laughs> <laughs>